friends, welcome back to 1824 Walker Farmhouse. I'm Audrey. And I'm David. And we love to share our country life. Good morning. Today is Sunday, January 22nd. And tomorrow is Pie Day, <laughs> National Pie Day. So today, I'm going to make some mini mason jar pies. I'm going to freeze half of them. My grandkids are coming next in February for a weekend. And one time they came and we did uh, had a nice tea party for Valentine's Day. And I thought this time then we'll change it up and have a celebration of George Washington's birthday. That would be different. In grade school, we always had hand pies, so I'm going to make some hand pies. I'm going to make some mini uh, mason jar pies. So we'll have some tomorrow, and I'll freeze some for February, and I'll be ahead. But right now, I'm making Sunday skillet. We used to go to a restaurant and always had Grandma's skillet, and then uh, on Sundays, and they closed, and we ended up sort of not going I have to eat that much on Sundays, and so I call it Sunday skillet. David calls it Audrey skillet, but it is different every Sunday. Usually potatoes, sometimes eggs, different meats. Always from a local butcher. We're so lucky to have local meats. like things farm raised. So anyhow, after this we'll get going to the pies and I hope you're having a good day. Okay, on to our Sunday skillet. I should call it surprise skillet because it's a surprise every week. Then I'm going to be making my cherry pies in the mini mason jars. I'll have the directions in the description. So off we go. The mason jar mini pies, I like to use the jelly jars because I usually make more than one flavor. And so you can have one of cherry, one of apple, blueberry, blackberry, whatever you're making. And I make so many that I got it down to a science that I usually weigh the balls. 1.9 ounces. And I'll put everything in the description. I think this makes a quick, pretty pie. Just it's fancy. It's a nice country look to it in the mason jars. I'm just going to spread it all around. I'm trying to show you a close up. Remember, do not stretch your dough. Just put it in there, make sure it's all around the rim, make sure your bottom's full, and you can see it's all around the rim, it's all good on the bottom. And then I'm going to take the cherry pie filling. I like Aldi's brand. I think they have so many cherries in them. I'm going to fill this three quarters full. And I love parchment paper. Do you like parchment paper? First, I sort of thought it was a waste, but it really does help with the cleanup, so you probably use as much soap. <laughs> I'm going to fill these all up. Now I use parchment paper that's not bleached, that's so more natural, so that's nice. Okay, I'm going to make some hand pies now. I rolled out my dough. You don't have a donut cutter. Just use a can, a cherry can. They make perfect little hand pies sizes. I love hand pies. And when we make these, you can be so creative too. I'm going to 
to save the rest of that dough for the tops. So I'm going to decorate the tops, just the most fun. One time we had a wedding here and my friend Karen came and we just chatted away and made these for hours. So I think the fun part is decorating the tops. I have this hatchet cookie cutter, it's a vintage one. I'm just going to use the top, put it on them. about George Washington cutting down the cherry tree. I think the stars are really fun because we're going to be patriotic and talking about George Washington. It's going to fit good. just loose. Sugar. I figure you already have sugar. I think the sugar makes it so pretty. It's one of my favorite things to do in a pie. Just gives it a little oomph when you bring it out. So pretty. I don't know about you, but I love a picture when you bring something out of the oven and it's all bubbling up and nice and hot. I want to thank you for everybody that guessed what the wig duster and the curlers were. Um, thanks so much for playing along. We're in the next video. I'm going to take you up there and show them and explain them to you. And you don't want to miss anything, so hit that notification button. This is just a wonderful community, this YouTube community. And I just want to thank you for all your wonderful comments and your emails. Thanks for following along, and we hope to see you real soon.